Well, this was a lot of effort for nothing. Like trying to tell Matthew McConaughey how much he sucks. You know, Matthew, I, I may not ever get another chance to say this, so I just want to get this off my chest. You are just awful. You're one of the worst actors in the history of film, <laughs> and I think that you need to go away. Oh, thanks, man. The truth is, I spend at least 90% of my year going away, exploring exotic places, having sex with my beautiful girlfriend, just doing sit-ups. I mean, that really... And then counting money. Money that I've made off the terrible films that I put out into the American populace because they just love to see me doing what it is that I do. Yes, but you're not hearing me. Dazed and Confused was the one thing that was passable. After that... Oh, thanks, man. That actually launched my career. After that, everything else was awful. Contact, they, they, they didn't even need you in that movie. They could have done the whole movie without you. I know, I said the same thing, but they were just like, oh, we need a good-looking guy with a great ass and some tight abs to just provide some down-home enthusiasm in this picture. Something to counterbalance Jodie Foster. They took her to be uh, slightly cold, uh, unapproachable, you know, so they put me in there. I said it didn't make any sense. Said, th said the same thing about that uh, Bill Murray elephant movie, but they were just like, oh, the audiences need you. <laughs> You make me physically sick to my stomach, and I wish that you would get a heart attack. I totally feel you, man. Truth of the matter is, I, I don't like my movies either, but, uh, man, they just keep offering me money, and I do it, and then I get to go around the world. I mean, do you see Sahara? <laughs> but I'll tell you what that movie gave me was an opportunity to take an Airstream all across the country and sell that picture one person at a time. You suck donkey ass. Now, you can't prove that.